What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Journeyman series in Football Manager 2023. So I've only played three games off camera. Um, they've all been home games. We lost on the penalties in the cup. So yeah, I'm not really... I mean, sure, we'd love to go as far as we can in the cups. Uh, look, there's another one. Like already I've lost in a cup. Um... I've won in a cup in extra time, and then we lot. That was the quarter final. There's so many actual, <laughs> like like this early the different cups, and now we're into the intermediate cup, the first round, which we just won that against Dungannon uh, Tigers. Uh, we won two nil there, very impressive. But there's just a lot of cup action, and then later on we've got the Samuel Galston. Whiskey Irish Cup, even it sounds long to say as well. Um, we don't even know who we're playing there yet. So, yeah, a bit. So, we, I, I did mention we're going to try and play a, a bit more off camera. Obviously, you know, I always have other things happening, <laughs> uh, like everyone too. So, yeah, we, we're trying to uh, get through a bit more because I do think, yeah, we don't want to repeat the same things, at least make the episode about the same thing. Uh, but we we might be in trouble in January, like, because we can't, like, you can take a look, like, look at, like, the wage budget. So these guys that are on amateur contracts, we can't renew their contracts, and they're just, they're just leaving, which is fair enough. But, uh, yeah, we are probably going to intend to leave after our first season, and I hope we do actually gain some reputation. I'm not sure if we will, though. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling it a uh, very, a tough job, which, you know, you, you expect, but, uh, he, he, I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to sign new players. This team is in a sticky situation, but we've been getting good results. So if we can be as high as we can, because these players, they're going to be leaving. We'll go over here to see it. Yeah. They're, they're leaving in January. So yeah, essentially anyone with that transfer no notification, we're going to have them to January. So there's a lot of games that's going to be up until then. Well, decent amount anyway. Where are we? Yeah, solid portion. Because obviously there's going to be that, br there's going to be some form of, of break. Eh, not major. Because we're coming towards the end of October, yeah. Obviously it's it's around the World Cup, <laughs> the World Cup time. But yeah, there we go. Look, from the 17th of December, that's like the last game. And then the next game going to be what, the 2nd of January. It's like we're around this time in real life now, like early January, New Year. So yeah, at the quickest pace I personally can, yeah, we'll try and play through a bit of games. And I think it's just our tenure. Even, yeah, like our contract's going to expire end of the season, you see 2023. Uh, unless some money gets splashed into the club, because otherwise we we, we legit can't make s signing replacements unless they're like I did with loans, unless we can somehow attract players to sign on amateur contracts, which I've been trying to do that. They don't want that simply. They want non-contract with appearance fees, which is fair enough. You want to be paid, but that, ha like, look, just for example, James Clark, like, that's what I mean. That's what players we would have to be replacing. Chris Cowan, who also is one of the better players. So, yeah, like, he's a better comparison. Like, look at that ability. And you go contract. Not being paid anything. So, yeah, when we approach players, they want not this. They want non-contract and then bonuses. While some of our best players are not even on that. So, yeah, I'm not sure if that's balancing correctly for this level, but maybe let me know if you have more of an idea. I know people have said that just that's how it is this year. It's hard to sign the amateur contracts, but it's tricky when clubs already, like that seems to be the main contracts in place, majority of the players anyway. So yeah, it's it's a little tricky. So we're going to go, we're going to play our next game. This is going to be away from home. Uh, it's like... We're not. There's not too many special games for this season. I think. Like, oh, where are they sitting? Eighth. Yeah, away from home. It still could be tricky, you know. But uh, we've been doing all right. And yeah, let's see how we perform. How are we going to perform today? We're going to find out. As I said, up to January, let's try and win as many games as we can. Uh, so come the end of the season, we'll finish high as we can. Because I won't be surprised if we start to fall a little bit. Legit. Like, when we can't get replacements. When we run out of loans, 
that will be it. Uh, because what would you actually do? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure you can do anything. And again, once more, just to get the context here, like Dylan Martin, who's a one-star current ability. Sure, he's got some potential. But again, future prospect, just go through. And that's what legit every contract we approach is like. And you press the down and it just goes to one and players are not going to accept that. We're not going to go through that. Uh, hold that process so we're gonna have to just walk away from that that was just shown as an example so uh, you could look for the worst players even players maybe we didn't, they don't have potential like i'm almost doing something to prove a point we'll take off loan here oh look at this brandon fleming at hull he wouldn't want to join that there's actually no one from the settings we had anyway so this is just pure example so we can even sort by low potential uh like someone, yeah, where they're a poor current ability as well. Someone like this, probably not too, not too glamorous. You go future prospect, and the, he's like, how low do you go to get? Is it is there an older player like a thirty five year old? But he's three star. I'm just looking at the different options, fringe player and emergency, but the lowest you can select in terms of importance. I mean, even, what, 25 pound? Like, if you have an idea, like, what's the search parameter? Like, a 16-year-old? Let's, uh, I don't even think, yeah, we'll go future prospect, we'll go emergency backup as well. Okay, we'll go future prospect, just accept it. It's just like, by default, that's it. Like, you can't click amateur contract. They're just like non-contract. Let me know if I'm missing it, but I don't think you can actually select non-contract. Uh, non-contract or amateur contract it just deep by default goes to this unless not allowed full contract type yeah I, I wonder it's, it's you start to get in your head and you feel like you never played fm it before if you know i'm right yeah i'm contract so you go youngster and as i said it's making you go crazy like you've never offered a contract before and you go suggest then it goes right into the next part and adjust the budgets, you know, we can't do much there. So I think we're stuck. If this was your shoes you were in right now, um, what what would your process be if you're looking for a signing? Like, what do you do? We're going to stick to loans. I'll click it just so you know. We're going to stick to loans. And we'll click off that. Loan status. And we go through the process of looking for players. I'm not going to go individually. You know what I'm what I'm saying. We look for players. Like, sure, I'd love to look for quality. And, yeah, what I would do for the... Hold up. For the time being, I'd go to the maximum... Oh, my God. We can't even change this in... Before, I could at least do UK and Ireland. Now, we can't... We're just... We're f stuffed, man. That's, that's the word. There's 250 players here to pick from, and they're just... Like, we're in a real financial, what do you even call it? Just a, sh <laughs> I can't, I'm struggling to find like a G-rated way to describe it. I'm not sure you can. We're just absolutely f fluffed. It's definitely what I said the first time. <laughs> nah, nah, like, it's not a place to really be, unfortunately, unless something really happens financially with the board. But what can we really do? That might be the question we pose what can we do? Maybe it is best to move on. But I don't like to... I want to, like, you know, play out my tenure here. As I said, we play up to January. Um, like, we do our best up until January so we can at least achieve our expectations come the end of the season. Like, right now... Like, look at that. It's like, be, those cups, like... part that's that Those ticks are looking good. Especially where this one is desired. Be competitive. But you didn't really have to do much for that. Like, that's pretty high. Uh, to be honest, so happy with that. Uh, but just avoid relegation uh, from the league. So as high as we can finish, or well, as high as we can be before we start to lose a lot of the lads, uh, <laughs> we can't offer them contracts when they get offered. So uh, look like Sean o OG Gallagher as well. Like uh, he's wanted. He could be easy. Be like yeah, easily he could leave as well. Another one of our better players, legit, or because he's amateur. Yeah, you see where we're at. You see where we're at. Um, I'm trying to cover all bases. We've got 
where's where's values? What transfer value? It's all zip. We've got one player. He's on and he's on loan. So none of the players we own have value. It's yeah, it's a sticky situation. So the one thing that has been going fairly well so far is our results. So let's pop into this game here. Our opponent sitting in eighth, and yeah, getting some connections there. I think we rotated, yeah, because it's Kevin Anderson. I might put him in, uh, yeah, for Joe for this game. You want to have a good performance? Uh, Sen, his manager was requesting him uh, to be playing, so that's why he's been in. Uh, but you can see we're starting to have some, well, quite a few, quite a few connections. Again, Cameo Scott was a nice one to get in. See, like he was a signing we made and we had to give a contract to, and he was on the shorter side of what we've been, what or what have players have been wanting. You know how that it goes to that 20, 25. So, <laughs> well, we can't even offer that now, of course. But we just made some changes there. Yeah, get players on the bench, and then we put mccartan in as well he's one of those exciting options we signed as a youngster you know a 16 year old regen new gen in hopes that he's developing and he's going the opposite way so yeah it's a lot of things are building up on this at the moment and like i said just it's it, the results have been the one thing holding us up so like if we were getting trash results like i'd be I'd be really, really disappointed. I wouldn't have much to uh, talk about, to be honest. But um, let's go through. Like, this can... We, can, we could at least hold our heads up high if we achieve our expectations, which we are in a good position to do, even if we drop down later in the season. Uh, look, Banbridge, like... Yeah, like, if we finish mid-table, league performance, you know, those cups, it looks like we've got ticks on because uh, the expectations aren't so high by the board. So I think we can hold our head up high, but maybe that's a reason. Maybe that the maybe I'm seeing it now as to why the expectations were so low because they, you know, saw this coming. So unfortunately, that's not ideal, but it kind of makes sense now. Like when the media prediction was like six, and I'm like, wait, why is the expectations lower than that? Like avoiding relegation. Uh, maybe we're seeing a bit of that now. Not our results, but what is really starting to happen with the players and the finances. But the good thing is when we get out there, when we get out there, we are looking the goods. Well, we couldn't put that in the back of the net there, but it was a good creator opportunity. There we go. Apply the pressing as suggested. Come on. Okay. Next highlight, McDermott, Duffy, Dangerous, and Hunter. He's been very well. Hunter, Dangerous, that's in his name. But, yeah, he, he's he's made some saves. He's made some very good saves. Now, Cohen, like, he's been important as the strikers. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Owen couldn't. It just didn't really not much with that. Duffy, what was that? Here we go. We're still building towards that goal. McCartan, even with the poor training, you can see his talent. You can see the young talent at work. Here we go. Cowan talked a bit about him. And you see how we, we've got that control of the game. And it's Connor Downey with another one. That's his six of the season. There we go. Not in front of much crowd, to be honest, but brilliant. Brilliant. And you see how we've got this. We were saying this from our first game. Like, uh, like we lost our first match. Remember that episode? And I was saying, I could still feel it. I like how, we, how we're shaped up, exactly how we intended. And, yeah, we just feel like things go our way. And you can tell that in this game so far. Yeah, definitely. And that's how matches have been. That's why results have been going our way. You've got to defend your set pieces. Defend Edgar. So let's see how we go from here. Get a players around the ball. Get them in the box. And enough pressure. I feel we pressure our opponents enough for their, their chances, even ones that appear like a good chance. They, they still feel under pressure. Or their finishes look like they were under pressure anyway. 
because uh, that looked like a pretty good chance, but <laughs> clearly fluffed the lines. And now, you've got to be careful, Duffy. And you probably can make only so many. You could probably make on only so many saves there. Kevin Anderson, miss interception. See, if contracts were going towards the end of the season and release him at the end of the season, might understand he's getting a bit older, but Hunter couldn't quite make the save on that occasion. And we're just going to say demand more in this game. Uh, I'm disappointed to be behind, but we're not giving up because I'm confident in what we provide. <laughs> I'm so confident in this team that I don't see... It's more the club. Like, there's a few players I've, I've quite have liked and what they've done, but, yeah, it's more the situation financially that I can't do too much about when you don't have value in your players. So here we go, Downey. We can just try and... Come on. I had to pause there because I had an upcoming cough attack, but... Let's continue. <laughs> Let's continue. And it was nothing coming from that anyway. I mean, it was a good created chance. What we may do here, we might step it up a little bit. Let's go wider. Yeah, let's focus Focus down the wings and try and get crosses in, be more expressive. Encourage. Let's see how much we can do. What can we do? McCartan. Ball in. Come on. Edgar, no, yeah, beyond a bit on the disappointing side, we could freshen up the legs, Rui Alves for McCartan, yeah, he's been very disappointing, I've been trying to lift him up, lift up the spirits, uh, but he's probably playing how he's training at the moment, McAvitt, as good as he is, not really providing too much, I might switch these two, uh, what are we going to do in terms of changes, uh, Chris McMahon, See, he's like two-star ability, not a whole lot to talk about. Nick's, like, we outside of our best 11, we don't have a lot as well. Uh, Owen, it's true. I might push him over to the left side, and we'll bring on Harold Sen. Just to show, showed you him before anyway, but he's like two-star, got some potential again. He's on loan, trying to play him. Wait, Liam McGarry. Liam McGarry sees one star. It's, it's, see what I mean? Uh, we're, we'd be dropping a bit of ability uh, by making some subs. So away from home, mm, I just really felt we were in a winning position in this game. Ooh, okay. Come on. Pick up the possession, Hunter. He does in a way. Come on. Oh, I thought that was going to be intercepted. Oh, Gallagher, he did eventually. McAvitt, we made that change, and he just takes a long... That, yeah. That's pretty disappointing. As the game ends, 1-1. See, I felt like we just... Oh, I felt we had a bit extra than them. Shots look fairly even. See, I feel we had it slightly in our favour with everything today. But, hmm, <laughs> you got to be a bit more convincing than that uh, to be, you know, to win for sure uh, against the opponents. Yeah, you can't just be level. You can't just be level and win majority of the games. Uh, yeah, you got to be very strong. I'm just, I'm pretty disappointed. I knew we could win that. McCartan, stressed. I was stressed at your performance, mate. I know he's only young, so you can't expect him to be a star, but. Had pie. He's got the pie potential in him for sure. But got to move on. All right, we go there. At least, see, we even get some money for playing games, but playing matches definitely that's far from uh, far from enough. So we are going to leave it there. So yeah, we just keep playing the single games. And again, see, it's sorted out like this. The next game is in eleven days as well. Uh, yeah, November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew there was going to be less games. November's only got the couple, so. Yeah, we'll try and get through. See, November we'll be able to get through uh, relatively uh, relatively quick. Um, it's not even towards the end of the month anyway there. So, see, you know, I normally like to analyze my finances, but to be honest, 
like we this month we haven't actually had a huge loss. So if you go to expenditure last month, it's not nothing crazy. See scouting, I've tried to limit that, uh, like I showed you. <laughs> now we're being forced to, to be honest. But that's yeah something you've got to be on top of, I guess. But to be honest, it's it is heading in one direction. <laughs> There's not really um, the money coming in, regardless. So. We're going to leave it there. Let me know Let me know your current thoughts. I know we'll probably try and speed this up as much as we can this season because I'm struggling to feel long-term effects. Uh, effects is probably not the right word. Just, I'm struggling to find the long-term feeling with this club, with the financial situation, because uh, I can't really build. Right, We can't really build, again, unless there's an influx of money, but... History suggests there probably will not be uh, where this team is going to be very comfortable money-wise. So, yeah, it's probably, like I said, do our job, hopefully minimum. Well, I can't even say minimalize the amount of players that leave. I can't really control that. If an offer comes in, they're leaving because I can't offer back. But It's as simple as that. It's just like all the players were searching. It's the same thing. Uh, the contracts look the same. So, yeah, we've got to take... Uh, got to take those losses wherever they may be. At this point, they will be manageable. Kevin Anderson, centre-back, maybe we can replace uh, finding another centre-back on loan uh, with no wages to pay. And Nick's maybe get another midfielder. And I think we can manage it. But more, if more, yeah, Gallagher would be a very big loss. Uh, he's he's solid. It's like he's not killing it, but like he's a solid regular in the team. And that's something that would need to be replaced. But anyway... If you guys can leave your thumbs up, greatly appreciate you guys, all you guys that are liking the video. And again, um, I know we're at this stage on YouTube, uh, but it's like, I appreciate all you guys that are interacting with the video, like uh, with the videos, plural, all the videos. Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's funny. I, I treat it more as individuals now and I see it as like, oh, wow, that many people are watching my video. If there's a few hundred, I see you guys as more individuals uh, opposed to the days. Maybe I used to get a few thousand on my FM videos, uh, but it's like now I see it as you guys individually and to me individually, that's a lot of people. Uh, in your grand scheme of things on YouTube, it's, people say it's not, but like, I, I see you guys as more individuals now, uh, which is the way it should always be. Uh, so, yeah, it's interesting. I'm like, oh, if that many people were with me and playing FM, watching me play FM or out together or something, like, that's hell, yeah, that's a lot of people. So I my view on things are very different now and other people might perceive them, perceive them as different. Uh, but, yeah, that's how I'm really just going to be viewing things from this uh, point of view because... Um, yeah, the contact content uh, I make is not for the not for the thousands and hundreds of thousands um, to attract. It's for you guys that are subbed uh, for these type of series, and maybe if you're new as well. But yeah, for that really targeted audience, so I I enjoy that because I know. Uh, oh, I, I I hopefully I know what uh, I hope I know uh, what you guys are getting from the videos, and yeah, I just want to explain that a bit. It does depend the kind of day I'm having. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, no, I'm like disappointed, um, and want to do better, but I'm like. I'm also very happy about um, yeah making the series and for the, the just making it available kind of for you guys that want to see uh, these type of series, the Journeyman series, because I know there is that specific audience for that. Um, not necessarily uh, the biggest audience; it's the niche, uh, the FM long term series. Like you know, the experiments are the way of this like this time like doing experiment videos, which I might dabble in to be honest. Um, you know, to keep my head above water, but <laughs> no, no, we'll see how the videos go, but I appreciate all you guys supporting. I uh, just wanted to mention that a little bit uh, while we try and just, yeah, like I said, just uh, keep ourselves going by doing some other things on the side, but yeah, appreciate uh, you guys always leaving the support as it helps me, yeah, as I said, helps me get by uh, day to day as much as, yeah, you might think it's not so much, but yeah, <laughs> I, I could talk for days, but, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will keep looking out for the series and I'll see you in the very next one.